But uh, just try to get to where there's like, you know, a unisex bathroom because I know it's been a big concern that's been going on. Uh, as well as attack, attack on some of the diversity issues, really use the Multicultural Center as our main uh, outlet and our main pilot for that area. But I really want to have like an SGA welcome day when the students come in uh, for the first couple of days of school. Just let them know, hey, this is SGA, this is what we do. We'd be talking to the organizations and letting them know what we're going to be what we're going to be doing. We'd talk to them, get our face out there so they'll know, hey, who is this person? This person's an SGA. Or when they're thinking, who do we contact for this? Oh, we need to contact this person. these different aspects, the housing, the campus giving, and it's the general day-to-day -day stuff that SGA does. You get to see a wide variety of what this side of campus might do and what this side, what different struggles each side gets to go through. And knowing that is be a great head start going forward, knowing how to fix problems or knowing who to talk to about what problems to fix. So I've kind of had my hand in every major pot that is out there that are needed for student resources. So. I believe that the knowledge I've acquired over the past couple of years will definitely be beneficial in moving forward with this position. But we never all sit down as one unit to say, hey, this is what we kind of want to project. If you have some ideas that you guys, that we have for you guys, you guys could potentially have ideas for us, but I definitely want to use the campus media as one of our main ways to let students know about the information because it's already there. It's one of those things why, you know, it's great to create something new, but let's go ahead and work with existing functions that we have now. Part of this would just be to get our face up any way possible. Media is a great way to do that with a Mox News or The Perch or The Echo. Just when people see you more or hear you more, they know what you want to do. So if we officially clear communication where we talk to these people, we'll talk to different organizations, get clear goals and clear what they can do with what we provided, then that'll make it easier for them and that'll make it easier for us and that'll be definitely more efficient. Um, I feel like currently right now the chief staff position is kind of underutilized. I would definitely want that chief of staff position to, you know, take on the university committees because it's quite a big task for the vice president to have to <coughs> having to work with the university committees, your regular committees that can work with an SGA, and still have to control the city and make sure everything that goes on is well structured. The role of SGA as far as university holds really just to be the active voice for students. Um, Yes, we are a governing body, and yes, we're supposed to you know, make sure that everything flows, but also we're here to you know, make sure that students realize, one, what resources are out there, two, what issues that you guys may not know about um, that are going on. Is to represent the students and to make sure that their needs are met. When they have something, they can come to SGA, and SGA can provide that, or they know who to go to. They're here to be a liaison for the students, they actually work for the students. SGA really isn't a governing body, it's a body governed by the students. Four, to see what the students want and to represent them to the different committees and the different deans. Um, but linking the Multicultural Center as well as the International Student Office as far as like cultural backgrounds for diversity um, would be one area that I would actually target. Um, as far as diversity in the sense of people's economic backgrounds or you know that area is one of the things we really have to team up with the RHA because they have the most areas, they have the most people they can just generate on hand. Um, seeing that over 3,000 students live on campus, you're gonna have a very diverse background. So linking the three offices together will be my prime way of doing it. At the beginning, we'll ask which organizations would like an SGA representative and we'll make that available to the senators. If they would like, if any of them can attend the organization, we'd encourage them to. If they couldn't, we'd give it to the exec board, and if none of the exec board could, Stephen and I would go and at least go see these organizations once a semester just to check in on them, let them know, hey, this is what's happening, um, this is what we want to do, this is what you can do with this for existing. ideas are to streamline some of our documentation that are available to students by making them online, to have representatives or liaisons 
or myself uh, from SGA go to organizations and try to get an idea of what they need because organizations are kind of the heartbeat of many students on campus and so we can see how SGA can best benefit them. That the faculty and the administration because ultimately they're the ones that have like real jobs here and are setting the standards for what students have to live by and the only way to have a voice in that is to go and talk to them about it is to continue on with Pulse because it was a, for those that don't know, Pulse was sort of like a major networking opportunity between the dying different major aspects of campus. And what really matters is the friends that go out and tell you about it. You get involved with things that your friends can tell you about more so than anything that anybody else is going to say. And by having the other students on campus know about the different aspects of campus, you can get more students involved in campus. Start reaching out and start making yourself available to graduate students and commuter students and people that are non-traditional students. I think that that's incredibly important and I think that SGA as a whole, we want to talk about diversity and keeping things diverse and this and we talk about major areas of campus, but we don't talk about how to bring them together. We don't talk about how to make things inclusive and I would love to start that conversation. How parliamentary procedure works and actually applying that. At the end of the day, the vice president is the person in charge of the SGA meetings. All I can do is kind of advise him in that role as far as that goes. But I, already having that knowledge will make it a lot easier for me to be able to step up and lead the SGA meetings. Um, as far as my personal leadership style, I think I'm more of a supportive role. I don't necessarily get my hands deep in everything that goes on. As far as my leadership style, I'm a very direct leader. I like to keep things rolling. I like to have fun along the way, but I'm very, as far as getting things done, um, and as, as far as my skill set is concerned, I'm currently enrolled in a leadership class um, with Dean Sara, and we talk all about leadership and, and uh, the things that correlate to that. I try to bring creativity, I try to bring things that I enjoy, that I like, aspects that I think I would participate in, and bring that to a bigger picture. Uh, and you can't do that without creativity. Uh, in the same vein, I'm also quite detail-oriented. Uh, so going back to the Constitution, parliamentary procedures, I lead by example uh, on a basis of hard work ethic and ethics, ethical, moralistic uh, drive. And so I try to set an example that others, my subordinates, will follow. But what I would like to do as vice president is to go make a, uh, I mean it's pretty practical, uh, make a handbook uh, of contacts of the university for the committee chairs. Some examples of what each committee has done in the past to give some ideas of how they can progress in the future. I'd like to have in that book uh, the, each committee's budget so that way we have an easy to access budget that we can look at uh, and, and publish that and then at the beginning of each term sit down with the committee chairs, go through the manual, talk to them, get their input and see how exactly uh, they wish to progress with it is a quarterly report. Every, we're in school for about four months, so every couple months just have the committee chairs be able to sit down and tell me, this is the number of events I did, this is what they are, this is how much was spent, this is how much money was raised, if that was the aspect, and this is how many students came out to it. And be able to say, okay, well, where did you fall short? What was wrong with these, at, with, with these different events? And maybe be able to carry that on, if not into the next semester, leave that for the next group coming in next year because I think that being able to go back and review what you're doing is as important as creating new things or revamping old ones. If, if I were to be elected um, vice president then I would want to really have a sit down like we have communications every week um, and I think that sometimes we're just rehashing um, this is what I'm doing this is what I'm doing and I think that that's important to do to talk about but I also think that we need to take a step towards progression like okay, so this is what you're doing, and let's take that to the next level, or what are you thinking about for next month? That I could sort of be mutable and be um, changeable with the people around me, um, whomever I was elected with, because sometimes you, you run the risk of, when you run with a coalition, you're running with very single-minded people with a single vision, which is beneficial, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you lose vision of other people, other resources, other organizations, other just groups of people, you lose that, that sort of mentality. SGA is not in the Raccoon Mountain Room at 305, but is everywhere on UTC's campus at all times, and I would work through that. 
having conversations just like this with you or other students or representatives of university committees so we can gauge just how SGA can act. All right, I have three points to that. Um, interacting with campus media, uh, making sure that the committee chairs are working, and getting SGA a dadgum answering machine. Because if anybody has ever tried to call the SGA offices, you cannot leave a message. And I think that that is a shame because I know that we don't have someone in there 24-7. There are, in my life, two things that are relevant. And it's the things that I do and the people that I love. And I think that SGA needs to show students that we support the things they do and we support the people that they love. Now, um, the category you work with is um, academic affairs. And right now, the category specifically goes to just uh, awards. And to fulfill the duties that the, the academic affairs chair uh, really should be doing, they need to be allowed to spend more money on just awards. Something we're looking at right now is putting forth an initiative to change the name from um, academic affairs to academic and university affairs, allocating the budget in a way that it allows the chairman of that, set, uh, that committee to put forth funds for students directly, not through just awards. Uh, awards, category E, as well as changing that and making it a more open category, I would like to make some small changes. There's a, each category is allocated a certain amount from your student activity fee. I believe that the athletics fund is given quite a bit, and I would like to increase the amount given to the social, social issues fund and the uh, capital investments to the university. The SGA spending is to increase the quality of life for the student body, whether it be on a short-term or a long-term basis. Um, programs and initiatives that directly impact students. I think we need to take a look at what students actually want. This is something that I've done as my time as a freshman senator surveying campus, having a Q&A in the UC asking students exactly what do you want from your SGA? What do you want to see happen on campus? I'd like for you to run any other committee fairly, efficiently, and effectively. This is what you have to do as a committee chair. But, um, in this particular instance, I'm going to have to be very objective and encourage my members uh, in the committee to be very objective. Every bill that's thrown our way, an equal chance, it should be treated as the same no matter what. Put all of the bills on Blackboard, make sure that they're available to the members of the committee and to SGA at all times. Make sure that they know what's coming up, that they know how the committee meeting is going to run that day, and um, to discuss the intent of each bill, and to invite the sponsors in.